Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to Growing Wisdom. And you know, one of the things that I start doing every year, late April, is putting out the hummingbird feeders. We've got one behind me right now. And you may, if we're lucky during the video, get to see a hummingbird at that feeder. We have seen hummingbirds at the feeder today, both feeders actually. I've got one outside the kitchen. That one mounts to the window. And the other is this one that hangs on the pole. It's just outside my office. Hummingbird feeders are a great way to attract hummingbirds to your garden. Now, there's plenty of plants that the hummingbirds like. For example, the bee balm. This is a red example of bee balm. We've also got this wonderful raspberry colored bee balm, and those will attract the hummingbirds for sure. But the nice thing about the feeders is that they're consistent. So you can start your hummingbird feeders in the late part of the spring and leave them there until the hummingbirds leave. Around here, our hummingbirds leave generally the first to second week in September and then they're gone. They come back the last week in April to the first week in May, depending on how warm it is. So of course, your hummingbird feeder needs hummingbird food. Now, in some of the stores, you'll find pre-made food. You basically just add water to it. It's generally red. You don't have to do that, however. The basic recipe that I find works real well is a quarter cup of sugar to one cup of water. What you do is you put the quarter cup of sugar in with the cup of water, you boil it up, just to the boiling point, you let it cool, and then you put it in the hummingbird feeder. Another important aspect is to clean the hummingbird feeders each time. They will tend to get a little bit of mold growing because of all the sugar. Be very careful what you clean them with because if you don't remove all the soap, it can be harmful to the hummingbird. So I generally use a very, very safe detergent, organic detergent to clean the hummingbird feeders. I let them dry, I rinse them over and over and over again, and then I finally put the food back in and we get the hummingbirds to come to the feeder. So I'm in front of another stand of bee balm. This is that raspberry one I was telling you about. You can see the little bumblebee there. Bumblebees don't really bother you unless they fly into your head. But uh, you know, the thing that's great about the bee balm is its tubular flower, and that's why the hummingbirds like it so much, allowing the hummingbird to get right in there and feed and get that delicious nectar that he or she is looking for. Whether or not you hang your hummingbird feeder or put it on the window, the feeders are a great way to augment the natural flowers that I plant in the garden. It's also a great way to consistently feed the hummingbirds throughout their entire season. Come back every week for all of our videos here at Growing Wisdom.